what up, what up? Libra, this is for you and your cross watchers for, well, basically the beginning of April now. There's you late to be middle, but that's okay. Eventually it'll catch up with my shit, right? So Libras and cross watchers, this is for the sign in positions of sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, you just boop your nose the way it goes, you know, because there's no reason to keep nosing about shit that ain't about you ain't got nothing to do with your business unless you're nosy and like the gossip which some of y'all do hi kitten what are you doing so let's see no oh, i'm trying to get in my lap of course you are well the book came out immediately leaving the cross watcher so let's see before we even begin with this might be some sneakery some words being said spies smear campaigns right because some secrets might have got out. Something to do with the imagination. How things have been working. Building stuff or whatever, right? Three of Pentacles with it. A decision needs to be made, for sure. A decision was made. I probably left someone feeling left out in the cold. Maybe a little bit broke. Um, write it in, though. Take action. Could be with a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries. Passionate action to send the message swiftly and quickly about some sort of love here. But we got the Ace of Cups over here. And the wants and wishes, Libra and Crosswatcher. Maybe you don't like this person. Maybe you don't like this person. Maybe you don't like their actions and the way they're taking it, right? So let's see. We got the Four of Pentacles reverse with the Two of Pentacles reverse. That makes the Six of Pentacles. Which is down here in the imbalance. So whatever this energy of like feeling like things aren't secure and there's a lot of indecisions on how to establish security. Because there's a lot of like earth en energy in this a little bit. Hey kitten. Um, I feel like it could have something to do with instability. But it might also be something about like not letting something go. And that might also be causing the instability right here as well. Um, it's causing a lot of indecisions about money, finances, shit like that. We get the page of swords down here reverse Libra. That could be you. Someone could be looking at you in this situation as if you're immature. Or maybe you are immature. You never know. Um, it seems like there is this um, kind of desire to stab somebody and then give a peace offering because the sword's coming first this way and I pay attention to it more than this leaf when it's reversed it's like they're not coming initially for peace until like they get a peace and that's kind of where the unbalance lies it could also be an Aquarius or a Gemini we'll find out what theirs later on you know um, oh if anybody wants a personal I'm not doing any right at the moment because I got shit to do unfortunately sucks because I kind of well I don't know I guess it all depends you can donate if you want to but no pressure on that but yeah I'm not doing personals for a while three of swords there's two threes here somebody else I think somebody had threes yesterday <coughs> mm. excuse me I am deaf anyway three of swords reverse I mean it's healing from a heartbreaking situation in this energy. Did I even finish the rest of talking about these? No, I did not, but that can stay there. Fuck it. Anyway. Let's see. I'm all out of it today. I guess it's because it's raining. Uh, Nine of Pentacles reverse with the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Hmm. This one's kind of awkward because it has people grouped together, but I don't feel like it's for a family setting as much as it is trying to keep warm. But it's like there's no love there. And even if it was there, it's a cup, not a pentacle. Like, does someone hope that someone feels uncomfortable in a group setting of some sorts? Because we're not supposed to be in groups. No, maybe it's bothering you a little bit, Libras and Cross Watchers, is that you can't be with your friends and you want to be, but you can't. You're separated. The obstacle and challenge is, like, indecision when it comes to, like, 
or almost some treachery going on because like this usually talks about sneaky behavior but um it could also talk about someone returning for an apology after some shit's happened right Like, this speaks of an apology, but this one is, like, someone doesn't want an apology either. Then we have the Sun card over top of the fears or rejection. Third party situation leads to a breakup. Someone's afraid or rejecting the idea of being happy after that, which is, like, okay, whatever. Uh, and how the shit starts, how it'll end. The Magician reverse with the Strength card reverse. Could be dealing with a Leo, for sure. Bad manifestation. The hangman reverse is in the beginning theme. Which is like someone wasting time. Someone portraying themselves as a martyr. Someone leaving themselves in a bad situation. Even though they don't want to or have to be. So Libra. Let me see. There is definitely a situation where um, someone needs to heal from the heartbreak, I think. Especially with the Three of Cups reversed over here as well. But I feel like someone keeps talking shit and, you know, that's never fucking helpful. Let's see what? Gain a pentacle right here? That's the Ace of Pentacles. No, that's the Page of Pentacles. My bad. Haha. <laughs> but, um... This energy here is like someone wants to heal their heart and send a speedy message that there's an offer of some sorts. But I don't, I don't know. That's eight of wands though. It's like you're blowing shit in the wind. Like, you're an ashtray, you know. Page of swords down below in a situation with the six of pentacles. Mind you, this is what's creating the imbalance because the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles are both reversed right here. So this is what's creating almost the energy in this situation where someone would rather stab than like give a handout, you know. Any behaviors almost? Or someone planted some bad fruit here. Which made them feel left out in the cold. And being a dick. And being a dick. King of Cups reverse. It's like he could give his cup this person is left out in the cold but he just drank it all himself and then acted like he didn't know what he was doing that's nice all right um wants and wishes nine of pentacles reverse with the eight of cups or ace of cups i don't know why i said eight someone's ignoring her intuition about all these spies and shit with trying to make this dream happen i feel like someone's daydreaming about something I was selling that to somebody else. I think it was in the Aries season reading I did. Okay. Is it going to be that way? Yeah, someone's ignoring their intuition. Like, Page of Swords once again. Um, sending messages, sending information. It's like Libra, whoever this is, I think they have good intentions, but they're really, really terrible about the execution of it. And I feel like it's getting a little bit worse. Like, I'm not sure. Let's see. Obstacle and challenge, Libra. What's this card again? Two of Wands reverse with the Seven of Swords reverse. Indecisions about how to come back after some sneaky shit and apologize, maybe. There's that imbalance again. It's like it, they're trying to feed into something that isn't going to grow. You know. Possibly a lover situation. Might be with a Gemini, right? Oh. But that's probably going to die. Mmm. Someone's giving into a relationship of some sorts or some sort of connection right here, Libra. That's not that like this is the third fucking time the Six of Pentacles has shown up. Reverse as well. 
added together on its own, and now, once again, a reflection of sorts. It's like someone wants to apologize for their shitty behavior, but every time they come in, they fe feed nothing to this tree in order to make the lovers happen, and it ends up possibly ending that way. Um, and they're, ignor or they're ignoring our intuition about, I feel like, gossip, thinking that that might have some sort of works into it or whatever, right? Fears or rejections of this third party situation that leads to a breakup will either make someone happy or they will be happy in Libra and Cross Watchers, whichever one you want to think is the truest. The Ten of Swords, someone is overburdened. Hmm. Someone's overburdened and the lights in their face. Or maybe y'all were overburdened by a Leo. They were just too bright, and that's why you guys need to separate a little bit. Mm. Or they were too much, or they gained, garnered your attention for too long. Something like that. That's just starts how to end. The Magician and the Strength card both reverse. I would like to be Leo. Also Aries as well. I feel like she's trying to keep the lion's mouth shut even though it is hungry. And that might be a, uh, this actually might be someone's folly. It's like whatever bad they manifest, it's like, they, they're having trouble not feeding that lion that kind of manifestation, I feel like. King of Pentacles, they need to learn to be rooted and stable and sit the fuck still. I feel like, you know. There's some mental game that's not being played out correctly in someone's favor. Because there's something about the truth. Could be dealing with an earth sign too. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Hmm. Like, I'm not sure. Let me get one more on this one. The whole. Okay, definitely some sneaky shit in here, Libra. Uh... There might be an earth sign in here where you feel like they were sneaky, but they didn't get away with their sneaks. But there's something here and it's like, not true or hidden from clarity and it, and it involves some sort of leap of faith right here like someone needs to throw the javelin in order to get things started what's the ending theme please either you assume that you know the truth more than possibly whoever this is right here or this earth sign and you're trying to work on keeping your mouth shut around them or they're doing that with you or you're having a hard time containing something but there's some idea that you have wrong. Maybe there was sneaky shit going on, but like, it's almost like you don't know what it was or there's some wrong idea here and you actually need to take a leap of faith in order to get to the bottom of it. I feel like you're, you or your cross watcher might be assuming something or someone's doing that about you. Patience is not the same as wasting time. You know, she's sitting here crafting things together even though she's sitting he's just upside down and he's been upside down so long the world upside down looks right side up huh I feel like someone just makes a lot of fucking assumptions or just decides things in their head But in truth, this all kind of feels a little bit egotistical, too. Like, whoever you're dealing with, Libra and Crosswatcher. It could easily be a Pisces or a Sagittarius or... I'm not sure. One person could be waiting patiently and the other one is just standing still. 
watching and observing whoever this is doing whatever it is they're doing. So let's see what's going to happen with them. All right, the energy and vibration of this person. Mm. I think where every time this person comes around, it seems like it's always when you're not feeling good. And then they want to give you flower, and then they go and just fuck that all right up. Just being like, here's a flower. I don't like the smell of this flower. Sniff it. You know, just sticking it in your face. Mm. Libra, are you trying to catch somebody? Mm. It's like someone's trying to catch someone else at their weakest. So they could just be like, I got the truth fly. You fit into my trap. It was a trap card. You know, it, it seems like one of those. Like someone's trying to catch you in some shit. Or you're trying to catch somebody in some shit. But that's the whole... Wait, okay, so that's what that Eight of Wands is for. It's like... You want information and you want facts... Or they want that from you. But you're but the person who's coming in with the flower, right? Like they're coming in on somebody on basically on their deathbed to investigate some shit. You know? Situation down here. Bad manifestations. Aimed right at the freaking I don't know. Libra, I don't, I don't think I like this person, whoever this is. Either you or a person you're dealing with, I don't know. But, hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I like this person. <laughs> like, they're kind of, um. It could be a Leo. It might have been a Leo who was, um comforted almost controlled by this backwards ass magician this black magic magician I will say this is the second time but over here with this magician right this is Dali but Dali's expression is completely almost like worries or scares or something like that and look at this lion's mouth it, the woman looks like she's more like in he's reversed at that this is reverse is the king of swords out here somewhere no but the magician is showing up but someone's still a douchebag um this person is a douchebag oh wait it's not the emperor either This is a person who's capable, but they're terrified of their capabilities now because, well, now they're struggling to keep the lion's mouth closed. But over here, it's like, hmm. Oh, okay. Someone dragged someone through fire. Ended a love relationship and then got dropped. Figured out they couldn't get back home. Have shit to slay every night. It's terrible. Want to drop the shit and it's not getting dropped. But that was the power play that was played. And now they have no idea who was involved with what. Because somebody walked the fuck away and went to party. So what happens after that? Mmm... Wheels are turning. Hmm. And someone thinks that if they play enough games, it'll work to close the lion's mouth again. Because it seems like they don't really succeed in, like, doing it again. Maybe for a little bit, but they can only comfort the lion so long before, over here, it finally just wants to snap, you know? Wants and wishes, you know? Someone's not using her intuition about all the sneaky shits in order to make things happen or dream to make things happen. This person's a control freak for sure. Leo, Libra and Crosswatcher, you could definitely be dealing with a Leo, right? But they got a little lizard in their hand and they like crushing it because it makes it feel powerful and shit, right? But it's like they're waiting on instructions too with the cherry card. Cancer? Wanting to, they want to move forward. 
Okay, what the fuck? This person wants to crush you, Libra, and Cross Watchers? Or that's how you feel about them. One of the two. But, uh, they want to crush somebody in order to move forward. Definitely could be a Leo involved here. I don't know who this Leo is, but holy shit. You might be productive, and they might be stagnant. That's for sure. Um, they're guarded looking at you, and you got a stone wall like, nope. You know. And they're going in, like, trying to almost do whatever they can to stop things. And it's almost like acting like a no in order to have you give shit. Obstacle and challenge down here. Oh, they drive you crazy, Libra. You might have to actually cut this out without, by not being gentle or just ghosting or some shit. Um, just be prepared because they might just... Yeah. Libra, I always take this as your card, right? For the most part. That and the King of Swords, but it's like, mmm. I feel like if you tried to cut them down, they destroy your emotions back in your face by acting like the way that they feel after you talk to them. Terrible. Fucking terrible, right? Here's a rejection. Third party situation leads to a breakup and someone being happy after that. Being overburdened by the sun, possibly. Might just work out that way, actually. And for the better. Definitely by not offering that ninth pentacle either. Hmm. Let's not offer it over to Mr. Crush things for the fuck of it. Ugh. What a gross display of power. Alright, let's see. How this shit starts, how it'll end. Libras and cross watchers. There's a I, I feel like this person's just ignoring what they're supposed to be doing. Like yeah, it like it, as above so below. If you're the one below, you're like actually getting shit done, but it's feeding into this person just wanting to hang out. Like they got a rope on and are using gravity to pull themselves away from what you're trying to do. Almost like reflecting of sorts. But they're wasting time doing this. You're trying to be productive. They are not Libra and Cross Watchers. Well, the tower is going to be avoided. The second round, anyway. But someone still needs to try to... Like, someone's a little closer to death and letting the bullshit go. But they're still clinging. But it's time. Mm. Libra, do you end up putting your own foot in your mouth? Because it's like someone expressed themselves and then they played themselves. Someone yanked them off with their fucking horse and stabbed them with their own sword. Yeah. Doors closed and people are taken off. Hmm. Oh, interesting. But yeah, Libra, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, I feel like either a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or an earth sign for sure. Hell, even a little bit of walk right but whoever you're dealing with um i don't know what they want from you i don't know what they're expecting from you but it's like either you or they are continuing to do some sort of process something to do with the truth or what isn't the truth i don't know i don't think it really matters though but it's like they kind of got like uh, this thing going on with it and it's really weird because they keep coming up to you and they keep being a dick to you every fucking time they crush you they bring you things that they know you don't like constantly throws emotions into your face for sure I don't know, Libra. I don't think this person is very, um... I just think they don't know how to listen and understand words, honestly. It's like they're too hard-headed to get shit. Uh, but, that's it. I don't know. So that's the reading I have for you for April, y'all. 
So, try to keep all this shit in mind. Because I feel like that's really important for somebody. Like, I feel like someone isn't recognizing the details of another person or their actions. Like, just over, like, right here. It's almost like someone not offering helps build up some work that they've been doing, you know? So, I don't know. But, Lemur and Cross Watchers, this is the end of your reading. Yay. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You ain't got to if you all want to, but I would greatly appreciate it because y'all are so lovely. La, 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 lovely, lovely. Um, yeah, so that's it. Love y'all's faces. You be good. I gotta go put lotion on my dry ass skin. Bye-bye.